This is one of the most engaging portraits of a non-royal subject in our exhibition. It was painted by an artist called George Gower, one of the most talented court painters of the Elizabethan period. The subject is a man called William Arundel, who was a son of Sir Matthew Arundel, a well-known Elizabethan courtier. Previously, however, it was thought to depict William's brother Thomas, but we know this is a portrait of William, not Thomas Arundel, because in the upper right-hand corner, we see a coat of arms. And in that coat of arms, in the upper left, we see a cadency mark of a half crescent moon or a mullet. This tells us that the subject of this portrait was the second son, as William was. What I like about this portrait is the way that the subject is looking out at us, making eye contact. In the upper left corner of this portrait, we see an impresa, which is a combination of imagery and text. And when combined, they were supposed to intrigue, perplex the viewer, sometimes actually ask more questions than they give answers. The centaur in the upper left is perhaps a reflection of our subject's zodiac sign, of his star sign, a Sagittarius. And the Latin inscription beneath, which roughly translates to no one respires who does not aspire, we are being told that a life with no aspiration is a life that has not been lived. He's wearing this amazingly fine costume with this very costly black silk doublet. Black was a very, very expensive fabric, so this is really William Arundel showing his wealth, and also this broad ruff, and his hairstyle too. I mean, I love the way it's sort of pushed back over his head and tied what appears to be tied at the back. George Gower is an artist who has remained, until relatively recently, in the shadows. But as more portraits like this emerge, we can begin to get a better idea of his life and career. This is why we are so excited to include this portrait in our exhibition.